Hi, this is Jeanette Carlson with the TT for T team, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about TweetDeck. I will show you how to compose a tweet, how to reply to a tweet and delete a tweet, and also how to send a direct message using TweetDeck. Now, when you first open up TweetDeck, you can notice that it looks different than when you go to www.twitter.com. TweetDeck organizes your tweets in columns, as you can see here, and you will specify what those columns look like. And you'll learn that in another tutorial. So today I'm going to show you first off how to compose a tweet. So if you come over here to the left hand side and you see the feather with the blue box, you're going to click on that and that is where you compose your tweet. And you can see right over here on the left hand side it says new tweet and I have a couple accounts tied to my tweet deck and it has a check mark by the account that you are going to be tweeting from. And then here is where you have your 140 characters to tweet just like you do in Twitter. So I'll type a message here. Hashtag in there. You can click your hashtag, and down here will tell you how many letter or um, characters you have left. And if you wanted to add an image, you would click add an image here. The other great thing about TweetDeck is you can schedule a tweet. So if it's the middle of the night and you're up tweeting, and you know that a lot of people won't see your tweet, or if it's late at night. You might want to schedule your tweet for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning if it's something very important or something you would like people to see. You can schedule that tweet. And then from here to send your tweet, I'm just going to click Tweet. And you'll see over here in your home feed, this is where your Twitter and the tweets that you follow, the people that you follow, where they will populate. So this is just your home feed. You're going to see everything that anyone you follow uh, is going to tweet it's going to show up right there. And here is the tweet that I um, just tweeted. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to reply to a tweet. So if I come over here and I see from my fellow trainer, from Ann Feldman, um, she shared an article on eight tips and tricks for using Google Classroom. Well, if I would like to say something back to her about that, I read the article. And I will just hit, there are three little icons here, actually four. And the first one is reply. The second one is retweet. So if I like what Anne said, I can click on the retweet button. And the next one is favorite. The three dots on the outside, if you click on that, that gives you a lot of different options. I can tweet directly to Anne. I can follow from various accounts. I can send her a direct message. I can add or remove her from lists, and there's a few other things I can do. I can mute her or block her, but right now I just want to reply to her. So I'm going to hit the reply button, and as you can see back here behind this, um, it is replying to Anne and Jenny because in this message you can see that Anne sent the tweet, and Jenny's Twitter handle is in there, and so is my Twitter handle. So I'm going to reply to them and it automatically pops, populates that in there. And I'm going to reply and say, this is great information for those getting started with Google Classroom. And I will tweet that. So this is what's called an at reply. You send it, you hit the reply, and it goes directly to that person. Other people can see this, but it is directly sent to Ann and Jenny, and they will get notification of that. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to delete a tweet. So if I had this tweet right here that I just tweeted to Ann and Jenny, or the tweet that I sent uh, before about getting excited to start with Twitter 101. If I come to the three little dots on the right hand side and click that, you can see way down at the bottom you can delete your tweet. So if you accidentally type something or found a typo, type something you didn't want to have typed, you can go in and delete that tweet and then tweet again. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that tweet. 
and successfully deleted that tweet and now it is gone. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is compose a direct message to someone. You can do this in a number of ways on TweetDeck and you'd use a direct message as you would say a text message. So a direct message is between two people and only those two people. So a good rule of thumb with Twitter and TweetDeck is if you're starting to have a conversation with someone on Twitter and it's between the two of you, you might want to move that into direct messaging so that everyone in your Twitter feed isn't following along the, with the conversation if, isn't, if it isn't pertinent to everyone else that's out there. So there are a couple different ways that you can send a direct message. I'm going to come over here um, and find my other trainer friend, Jenny K. And if I hover over this tweet that Jenny sent and mentioned me in, and I come over here to the three dots, I can click on that, and I can send a direct message right there to Jenny. And it pops up over here in the left-hand side, and it already populates with Jenny's Twitter handle. And then my message will go here, and again, this will be between Jenny and I. I'm going to close that out for a second and show you another way. I can also come over here to new tweet over here in the upper left hand corner with the little um, feather. I can click there and I can come down here to the bottom and click direct message and then you type in the Twitter handle of the person that you are going to send a direct message to and you can see as I start to type Jenny's name um, it populates in there and I can just click and now she's in there and so I can send a message to Jenny and just tell her just practicing with TweetDeck. And again, I can add a new image if I would like to, um, but right now I'm just going to send Jenny this message and then I say send message. Now, this is sent only to Jenny. If you notice over here in my home feed, if I scroll to the top, you can notice up here it is not in my home feed. Nobody else is seeing that except for Jenny and myself. So, that is how you send a tweet from TweetDeck how you reply, how you delete, and how you send a direct message. Happy tweeting and thanks for watching.